In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the aid of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that, attentive to your word, we can may confess our sins, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. Uphold us by your Spirit, so that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and also with you.
Jesus returned to the city, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree by the side of the road, he went to it and found nothing at all on, its, on it but leaves. Then he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again. And the fig tree withered at once. When the disciples saw it, they were amazed, saying, How did the fig tree wither at once? Jesus answered them, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be lifted and thrown into the sea, it will be done. Whatever you ask for in prayer with faith, you will receive. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we are on the cusp of launch week and a new ministry year at St. Matthew's. And as we did, we have a few um, items here. I'm going to ask everybody just to say a word of, in a moment about what, about the things that they are looking forward to teaching this year. I'll just say quickly, uh, I'm going to offer an adult class, um, the Paul class on Sunday morning. It will be at 9 o'clock. This will be a study that begins in September and takes us through May. Uh, it's a part of the greatest story series. Catechism will feature this book this year, the Old Testament in the fall, New Testament in the spring, and then the next year will be the second part, and then the Compromise have their notebooks as well. And then um, also a pastor and I will teach the Thursday morning coffee talk as well. Pastor, tell us about your classes. So um, I'm also going to be teaching, um, I guess we're calling it Sermon Talk, but it's right after the service from 11 to 11.30, um, and it's a chance to talk about the lectionary texts from that service just prior, and so um, don't really need a book for it, just need at least your bulletin or a Bible, or both, um, to jump in on that class and talk about the texts for that day. Um, and then there, there we'll talk about uh, racial reconciliation class yeah. in October for those mm -hmm. who want to participate in that as well. Mm -hmm. How are you, Jason? And uh, I will be on Wednesday night. We're going to shift our class from just talking about hymns to talking about psalms. And uh, we'll use psalms, but also the like Geneva Psalter or other paraphrases of uh, psalm texts that talk about how uh, we sing, we are praying as we sing. And uh, the poet, the core of this uh, uh, class, or the basis will be uh, Bonhoeffer's book, uh, the Psalms Prayer Book of the Bible. So. I love what you call it, praying twice. What a great name for that. Yeah, which I misquoted in The Messenger. If you read it, I quoted St. Ambrose. I had St. Ambrose on the brain. It's actually St. Augustine. So forgive me for oh, this quote. Jesus still loves us. I know. <laughs> All right, so yams, king tree kids, and young adults. What's going on? That's a great question. No, uh, for the yams, we'll continue to meet from 11 to 11.30 via Zoom, and they're going to run with the Faithland series like we've been doing. For the King Street kids, we're going to be meeting from 11.15 to 11.45, and I'm working with a professor from my seminary on a curriculum that's centered around children's books based on the lectionary. So, and we're trying that in person, right? Yeah, yeah. we're trying that in person, so details will be sent out soon on how that looks and what that looks like. and. And yeah, so it'll be great. And then the young adults are looking to revamp that in the fall, going back to Kudu in person. And then that'll probably again be along the lines of the Faithland series. We invite everybody in the congregation to be part. We're gonna start at least virtual via Zoom. And for most cases, some may be in person. And then we'll switch, as, switch to in person as soon as we're able to. Lots of ways to grow in faith. Absolutely. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us bring love. Where there is offense, let us bring pardon. Where there is discord, let us bring union. Where there is error, let us bring truth. Where there is doubt, let us bring faith. Where there is despair, let us bring hope. Where there is darkness, let us bring your light. Where there is sadness, let us bring your joy. O oh Lord, let us not seek as much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that one receives. It is in self-forgetting that one finds. It is in pardoning that one is pardoned. It is in dying that one is raised to eternal life. We pray for this curriculum, this curricula and all of the studies and books and questions and answers that will happen this year at St. Matthew's. Bless our teachers, bless our students. And now we pray for those that we name in our hearts and on our lips.
It is in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. Receive this blessing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us now and forever. Amen.